Democrats seized on the government's new fraud suit against Goldman Sachs as one more reason to pass their financial reform package now. This comes right down to this basic question. Whose side are you on? <laughs> But to move the bill forward, they'll need at least one Republican vote. Today, Treasury Secretary Tim Geithner paid a personal visit to two moderate Republicans, Maine's Olympia Snow and Susan Collins. It's so much more effective to go to the floor with a bipartisan bill. But she and the 40 other GOP senators signed a letter to Democrats Friday expressing, quote, opposition to the partisan legislation arguing the bill, quote, allows for endless taxpayer bailouts of Wall Street. The bill would create a consumer protection agency and regulate the complex derivatives market. But what's generating the most Republican opposition is the creation of a $50 billion fund for unwinding troubled banks, paid for by the banks. That the very existence of this fund would perpetuate the same kind of risky behavior that said to the last that, that led to the last crisis. That position drew a sharp response from the president. He made the cynical and deceptive assertion that reform would somehow enable future bailouts when he knows that it would do exactly the opposite. So who's right? The bill would make bailouts significantly less likely, but there's no way to end completely the possibility. Republicans say they have plenty of other issues with the bill as well, and that could complicate the Democrats' plans to bring this bill to the floor for its first vote later this week. Katie? Nancy Cordes on Capitol Hill. Nancy, thank you.